Hey everyone, today is December 6th, uh, my dad's birthday, happy birthday dad, and the feast of St. Nicholas, Bishop of the Church. Um, St. Nicholas is actually the guy who we, um, where comes the idea of Santa Claus. He's the original OG Santa Claus, if you will. And um, his life and ministry uh, had a profound effect on the people around him. Uh, but first I want to talk a little bit about the gospel, because I think that it has a lot to do with St. Nicholas's life. Jesus tells the parable about the 99 sheep and the one that goes astray, and how he, any good shepherd would go after looking for that one sheep who got lost, and that they would rejoice when they have, they have found that lost sheep. And he says that, so it is that the will of my father that not one of these little ones be lost. It's not the will of God that anyone be lost to sin, temptation, anyone be lost to doubt, despair, that be found that find themselves outside of the love of Jesus. It's not God's will at all that anyone be lost. And so shepherds were a great image for this, that they want all of their sheep to be together. And it's why, too, we call Jesus the good shepherd and why we call today still bishops and priests shepherds of the church. So St. Nicholas was one of those good shepherds. Even before he was a bishop, there are stories of him looking out for other people. There's a famous story of how there was a, a, a poor man who had three daughters and um, he couldn't provide for them anymore. And so he was, he was going to make this really difficult decision, the wrong decision, to um, sell them into slavery, into sex slavery. And so... Nicholas heard about this somehow, and so what he did was, in the middle of the night, he goes to this man's house, and he throw, he was a, from a rich family, so he, he throws some money into their house, into, through the window. And the man finds it, he gives thanks to God, and so the, his, his, he then is able to provide for the wedding of his first daughter. And then it happens again, where St. Nicholas again gives them money without them knowing. And a third time again, but this time... This, this poor man runs after him, the figure in the dark, and he finally catches up to St. Nicholas. And um, he's sworn to secrecy by Nicholas telling him that he can't say anything until after he's died. That's why that part of the tradition of today's feast day of St. Nicholas is that um, young children are called to put their shoes outside their rooms, and uh, they receive a gift in, that, in some way there, um, some candy or something like that. But St. Nicholas then was later made a bishop, and he was a great shepherd to his people. This is what God is to us. And through the Advent season, we're called to recognize just how much God loves us and how much he cares for us, how much he is reaching out to us. And sometimes in life it feels like that's not true. But that's, that's not what the truth really is, is that God is always reaching out to us. So our part is also to reach out to him. And then also to be like God and to reach out to others like St. Nicholas did. So we ask the Lord today to give us that same spirit that he gave St. Nicholas, to be good shepherds for other people, to show forth the love of God in all that we do, because God loves each and every one of us, each and every one of you, so very much.